Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today we have a meal that's going to be quick, fast, and in a hurry. Not all the time do you have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen preparing meals. Sometimes you just want to eat as soon as you get in the home from whatever it is that you're doing. Or if you've been busy all day, you just want to eat. So this is a recipe that you can prepare in a short amount of time and it's still going to be tasty and good as if you have slaved over the stove all day. We're going to be making for you today for Farley pasta and shrimp. Yes. Now, this is for Farley pasta. And it reminds you kind of, of a bow tie, which some people do call it bow tie pasta. And you can see the water still dripping. It's only because you're not supposed to let your pasta remain without moisture too long. So I want to get started with this recipe as soon as I can. I also have two pounds of shrimp that has been deveined and they've also been split down the back. I didn't do it but it was done that way when I purchased it. So I have two pounds of shrimp here. I have, because I did not have fresh broccoli, I did have in the fridge some broccoli and cheese sauce. So the broccoli is already mixed with the cheese sauce and as you know cheese just gives a little bit more texture to whatever meal it is that you're going to be preparing. So in this case this cheese works as a benefit for this particular meal. Now if you've never used um, Philadelphia cream cheeses, the cooking cream cheeses, um, it's just awesome. That's all I can say about it. And this is a dish that I'm going to be using it in. So this is the cooking cream. This is by Philadelphia Cream Cheeses. And this one is savory garlic. Now I'm going to use all of the savory garlic, but I'm also going to add half of this one. And this one is going to be the lemon flavored. I'm sorry, I had it turned around backwards. This one is going to be the savory lemon because I also want to add a little bit of a ting to it so that's where you get the savory lemon from so it'll be all of this and it'll be half of this I'm going to be adding some extra spices which is going to be two tablespoons of lemon juice a uh, fourth of a tablespoon of crushed red pepper. I'm going to add a full tablespoon, or that's a fourth of a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a fourth of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Don't want to get it too spicy. I'm going to be adding a full teaspoon of garlic to the meal. I'm also going to be adding some roasted red peppers, which I've already chopped up. So let's get started. I'm going to meet you at the okay, stove. Okay, here we are at the stove, and I'm going to cook these shrimp first. So I'm going to put them down in a four tablespoons of, I'm sorry, a four teaspoons of butter and four teaspoons of olive oil. So in other words, it's equal parts of butter and olive oil. And I'm just going to saute these shrimp up for a couple of minutes, turn my stove up a little bit so that they can go ahead and cook. And because uh, you know it only takes like two or three minutes for shrimp to cook. Sorry about that. I had to step away and rinse that container out. So we're going to let these turn a light pink. And when that gets ready, then we're going to take these out and we're going to add in our pasta along with our other ingredients. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add the one fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And like I told you, that will not be hot. It'll still be a kid friendly meal, but it's just to give it just a little added kick. So I've added that and I'm going to also go ahead and add this garlic. Now this garlic is just going to enhance what is already going to be a meal that is perfect. But it's going to just add to that flavor is just going to help to enhance the flavor of the shrimp. Now, I want to get back to these uh, Philadelphia cooking creams. These Philadelphia cooking creams 
to me it just adds so much flavor to any meal that you're going to be cooking I'm going to give that a couple of minutes now um, I've used them in several different types of recipes you don't have to necessarily use the type pasta that I'm using which is from Farley pasta you can use any type of pasta you can use penny pasta you can use macaroni if that is your choice I love to do it with fettuccine I love to do it with thin spaghetti when I'm making these dishes uh, so and a lot of times I don't always use shrimp I will use chicken but in my supermarket last week the shrimp was buy two two pound bags and get three two pound bags for free so that was a deal that I just really could not afford to, pa to pass up I, um, I love shrimp but I don't eat it on a weekly basis so this was the perfect time I'm running in shrimp is something that you can cook very very fast quick and in a hurry and just add some pasta to it and you got a great meal throw in some French bread and today I am gonna have French bread but I'm gonna have French bread with the five cheeses on it and I'm just using the Texas toast but I'm using the one with the five cheeses on it now the cheese that's going to be in the in the broccoli you're not going to taste it. It's just going to give your meal more substance. Now, as you can see, these shrimp have already turned pink. That is exactly what I was looking for. So, I'm going to take these shrimp out and I'm going to put them back into the same bowl. Try not to pour as much of the juices down in there as I can. I want to leave the juices in the pan so I can uh, cook off my pasta. I want that flavor to be added to my pasta and I want that flavor to be added to my sauce. So in here I'm going to put go ahead and make my sauce. Now I told you that I'm going to be using half of the lemon, the savory lemon and herb. Okay that's about half. A little sit it to the side and give it a little mix. And I'm going to use all of the savory garlic. Now, even though I've already put some uh, minced garlic in, it's not going to be too much. Okay. It's going to really be just the right amount. And you need a really creamy, thick sauce when you're coating pasta. And that's what I'm going to be doing. It's trying to get this up to a real creamy, thick sauce. And I love using wooden spoons. I keep me one. Let me try to clean up a little bit of my mess. Now, as you can see, it's simmering and it's thick, but it's low. And I can still get that thickness, and I'm going to add one cup of milk to this. Okay? That's one cup of just your regular whole milk. You want to use 2%, that's fine. Use it. And that adds to the cream in the sauce. Now, to keep it being velvety, and remember we talked about that, because that's what the cheese will do. It'll keep you having that little um, velvety type texture, which is what you want also, but you won't taste it. So we're gonna add that. Switch just a little bit. We're going to put in our lemon juice, just a little bit of extra lemon juice. And I told you that was three tablespoons of lemon juice. Because even though those, those, those uh, cream cooking creams are good, you still want to take your flavor to the next level of trying to give it that homemade type. Uh, flavor. 
So the the, the uh, creams are good, but you gotta keep in mind that when they make the creams, they make them just with general seasoning, just enough to get the flavor up, but it may not be enough for you. So you may want to still just add a little bit of flavor, which is what I did. Now, you have this sauce that is still is creamy, as you can see. And I have my stove. I didn't have it on medium, but I do now. It's like a medium high heat. Now in there, my final ingredient is my roasted red peppers. And it's just something about roasted red peppers. I'm telling you, I love it. I truly love it. Now what helped to make this sauce as thick as you see it was the cheese that was on the broccoli. Yes, the cream, uh, the Philadelphia creaming, cooking creams, they did add a lot of that creamy texture, but the cheese that's in the broccoli, even though you will not taste it, it just takes it to the next level. Now, I'm going to add my pasta. And what you're going to get with that pasta, because there's starch in that pasta, you're going to get some more of the cream. And the pasta, you just follow the package instructions. Now, I'm going to put this shrimp back with the juices. You can see some of the juices falling down in. I'm going to add that back to the dish. You got to leave a couple out for the cook. <laughs> okay. real good. I mean that really looks good. I'm going to stir it down in. Now keep, keep in mind that I'm going to still have this sauce to be thick because this pasta is going to help thicken my sauce even a little bit more. Now going to add a fourth of a cup of water. It's about a fourth. I'm going to put a top on this and I'm going to let this simmer for maybe about a good four to five minutes. I'm going to open the top and stir it only once. Now, when I do that, I'll get back with okay, the finished product. Okay, we're back. So let's see how the farfalle pasta along with the shrimp and the broccoli came out. But before I do that, I really want to just tell you about, I had to change the ingredients just a little bit. So I want to make certain that I give you the exact ingredients so yours will turn out just like mine did, okay? The only thing that I really changed was I added the, the rest of the lemon savory um, cooking cream. That's all I did. And added some salt and pepper. But let's just walk through it anyway. You have one pound, only one pound of the farfalle pasta or bow tie pasta, whatever you want to call it. Now you can use penny pasta. You can also use fettuccine. You can use thin spaghetti. You can use your thicker spaghetti if that is your pasta of choice. Whatever your pasta 
pasta is of choice, then you use that, but only use one pound. To that, I added 10 ounces of the savory cooking cream, the lemon savory cooking cream, and I added 10 ounces of the garlic savory or savory garlic cooking cream. So it would be one of the 10 ounces here and then add one 10 ounce of the garlic. Now they do have this in larger containers, but you only want to use 10 ounces of each one for this particular recipe. To that, I added one pound of my favorite vegetable. In this case, I was using the broccoli. Now, if you choose not to use the broccoli, then you can go ahead and use whatever's your favorite. If your favorite is spinach, then use spinach. If your favorite is mixed vegetables, then use that. But you do want to add some type of vegetable to this uh, pasta. Now, you can make this dish without the uh, cheese, but the cheese just helps to velvetize. So if you have some vegetables in your refrigerator and it has cheese on it, don't be afraid to use that because that cheese is only going to enhance the flavor of this particular dish. Now, if you want to add cheese and that's not on your favorite vegetable and you do have a brand of uh, shredded cheese in your refrigerator that is your favorite, add it. Preferably cheddar. A mild cheddar would be my cheese of choice, but whatever is your cheese of choice, then add it. Now, here is the finished dish. And as I told you, the only thing that I really increased was just when I told you, you know, a half of container of the savory, I just went ahead and used the whole container. And like I told you, it was only 10 ounces, so... And it wasn't like I had to go out and get some more that was already there. So what I'm going to do is, so in all total, you have the one pound of your favorite pasta, one pound of your favorite vegetable, two 10 ounce containers of cooking cream, preferably the savory garlic and the savory lemon. Then you have three tablespoons of lemon juice. You have one tablespoon of your um, minced garlic or one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of your minced garlic. You have one tablespoon of the roasted red peppers and you can add more if that's what you choose to do because I love roasted red peppers. So that's not going to do anything to the flavor again but enhance it. And I had added one fourth teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. And the only thing that does is give it just a little bit of a kick, but it still keeps it kid friendly. And I did salt and pepper to taste. So that's all you have. So this meal is ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dish some up. And as you can see, it's real creamy. And that's what you want in a, dish like, in a dish like this. You definitely want your cream to stick to your pasta. And you do want the vegetables. The pasta. The shrimp. You want all of that. Now, I also told you that I was going to have some garlic bread to serve with that. Okay, there you have it. It is bow tie pasta or farfalle pasta with broccoli and shrimp in a cream cheese sauce. And I served it with a five cheese Texas toast. I just want to tell you, you can make a meal out of anything. And this is one of those meals that I just threw together. It did not take a lot of time, but I know that it's going to be scrump delicious. So you try this recipe and send me an email or write your comments and let me know how you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube.